So can they arm a granite 4x4 hit 30 miles an hour plus as they claim with the 27 tooth pinion. Got the GPS on board, uh, the stock nickel metal hydro patchy, stock electrics on it. So let's see if you can hit that 30, 31 miles an hour. Well, it doesn't feel like 30. Feels faster like about maybe in the 20s. We shall see. 24 miles an hour on there. Maybe a little bit more to come. Takes a while with this gearing on there to build that speed. I'm thinking that still doesn't feel the, that fast. Maybe 25. But I don't think you're gonna get 30 with a 27 tooth pinion and a nickel metal hydride pack. Yeah, slightly faster there, 25 miles an hour. So, with the stock nickel metal hydride pack, stock electrics, and a 27 tooth pinion, we're getting 25 miles an hour. Not the 30 that I was hoping for. However, it will take, of course, a 2S pack on here. So, I'm gonna go home, get my 2S pack, give it a try on that. So, will the Armour Granite 4x4 hit a magic 30 miles an hour? Well, I've got my GPS at the ready, 27 tooth gearing on board, stock electrics, everything except uh, well, that is stock electrics. Uh, just got a 2S battery on there today rather than the nickel metal hard drive pack that it comes with. Well, finally, finally, he says we get a clear stretch of road to see if this thing can hit that magic 30 miles an hour. I'm not entirely convinced it can, folks, I will say. That is not hitting 30 miles an hour. Well, I tried the other day with it on the nickel metal hydride pack. I tried today with two hours, but what a fair guess. Oh, 22 miles an hour on there. So slower than with the uh, stock nickel metal hydride pack, which I got 24, 25 the other day, I think. Okay. Anyway, well, with the armor granite 4x4, it does say 30 mile an hour plus on the outside of the box, but you do need that optional 27 tooth pinion uh, to get even the peak speed that we got today of 24, 25 miles an hour. Not saying this car can't go that 30 miles an hour, but I couldn't get it to do so uh, in the past couple of tests there. Anyway, absolutely love this car to bits. I'm gonna fit the 17 tooth pinion back in because my new brushless ESC has just arrived. So I'm gonna fit the brushless setup back in there and that turns this baby into an awfully fun car. But highly recommend this thing. Anyway, I hope you found that video of uh, interest, even if you didn't kind of quite reach where we hope to be. If you did and you want to see more of this car, then please do subscribe. If you did, please click on the circle image to subscribe. It helps if you want to turn on the notification button next to the subscribe button.